This is not a drill. We finally have confirmation of what Chesington World of Adventures are planning to do over the next, I would say, five years, potentially quicker. So stay with us. We're going to share our screen. We're going to go through every single detail that the park have released today, including things we can tell you, and of course, highlighting some things that you're going to have to think for yourself. But first, let's bring up the map which you see on screen now. These are the six key areas that Chesington Well of Adventures are going to be focusing on over the next few years. And we'll click on each one as we go. So number one, this is an existing one. It's been on the uh, horizon for quite a while now, and that's the themed lodges. Now you will see soon that we are losing uh, accommodation. So theme lodges may well make a comeback, especially as we've seen them go into Legoland recently. So that one remains ongoing. Now number two, and this is in two separate places on, on the map. So there are two areas for relocation. One of them just on the entrance to Wanyama village, which we believe will be the children's zoo, and the other one, the other end, which is actually the cave area, which we believe to be the lorikeets. Of course, it might only be sort of a gauge of where the animals will be relocated, but the children's zoo and the lorikeets are going to be moving from where they are now, which you will see very, very shortly. Number three, and this one has completely taken us by surprise, and that's Project Refresh and Renew, which is the removal of Wild Asia. We'll get into that very, very shortly, but the removal of Wild Asia, just after they've spent a lot of money painting it. Now, number four is another ongoing project, which is the water park. They do mention the water park. We will get to it as well, um, with number five being the... Project Play, which is Scorpion Express. So yes, we have news on what's going on with Scorpion Express. And then number six, which is both ends of the map, are improvements to the car park. First of all, let's bring you the big news, which is the removal of Wild Asia for a new themed area. Oh, did not see this coming in this area, to be honest with you. So the proposal, as you can see, there's a refresh of Wild Asia. And what they're citing is the rides in Wild Asia, apart from Cobra, and now the Jungle Bus, to be fair, have been there quite a long time since Beano Land back in 20, uh, well, in 2000, in the year 2000. So some of them are pushing 25 years old. So they feel a change is needed. This will include a brand new roller coaster, a new indoor ride, and the moving of Cobra. When we say moving, it's not moving far, but let's look at the interactive map and you can see exactly where they're planning things. So at here, at number eight, is the land portal. This is where you currently enter Wild Asia to give you perspective with Dragon's Fury just above here and Land of the Tiger over the back. So what we'll do is we'll put these images side by side now so you can kind of see what's there, what's being used, and then what's not being used. For this though, you can see that the whole area is being used. So that's currently occupied by Service Road and Glamping down the bottom, which will be removed at the end of the season. In fact, I think it closes this weekend, so Glamping is no longer here. You will notice straight away there's no Temple of Mayhem, there's no Monkey Swinger, there's no Jungle Bus, and there's no Tuk Tuk Turmoil involved in these plans at all. None of those rides will be remaining in the area. We'll get to that a little bit later. But we can see, apart from number eight, which is the entrance portal, let's try and look at it in number order. Number one is the new roller coaster ride. This might be familiar to some people, the roller coaster ride. It's going to be very much an interactive dark ride outdoor experience, seemingly with multi-show areas. It's going to be quite something for Chesington and even possibly what we've already seen here in the UK. Obviously, there'll be new food and beverages, there'll be new retail outlets, and there will be a new outdoor play area, which is currently housed here, roughly where Temple of Mayhem sits. So you can tell that building will be demolished. We down the back will have a new indoor ride, which currently sits where the glamping sits. And then Cobra will be moving. Now you might think, is Cobra moving? It's not moving far. It's not moving far at all. So at the moment you enter under the archway. The archway then spreads out to the side. The archway is now in line with the pathway going into Land of the Tiger. So that will sort of move down I don't know, 50, 100 foot, it's not far, but it is moving with the entrances then being on the right hand side of the ride. 
Then there will be a new entrance to the area, secondary entrance, which is where Land of the uh, Tiger now enters sort of into that area. Now it's a bit misted at the moment, obviously with Glamp in there and the back of Tiger Rock, but that will be tidied up nicely for a new entrance portal. We then go on to look at the Land of the Tiger and highlight exactly where Land of the Tiger is. Obviously we, we do sort of know that Land of the Tiger might already be up for removal very, very soon. Um, the Tigers aren't going to be replaced. So yeah, that's one to watch and there's probably a reason why they've been included on this plan. So we have a new indoor ride. We have a new roller coaster with indoor and outdoor experiences, which we'll look at very, very shortly, and the moving of Cobra. Let's have a look at the plans that we've seen as well. So this is it, this is the coaster area. So to give you a perspective, this is showing it um, from the side that this part of the roller coaster will come out of the building. There'll be inside parts, there'll be uh, interactive parts, and it will come out of the building, which will kind of the first thing you see when you enter this new world. And of course it shows uh, a little bit of what it's gonna look like and how Cobra will be portrayed as well in the area. Nothing so much on the new dark ride, mind you. And of course we don't officially know what it is. However, I just sort of take note of the shape of the buildings is all we will say. The buildings are very distinctive, distinctive. But this is planned to be a really immersive experience land, something that we haven't perhaps seen at a park in the UK or indeed at Chessington World of Adventures. So it'll be a really interesting one to see. Details around all this are obviously still a little bit sketchy. However, we are expecting plans for this very soon and I think it's gonna become quite obvious soon exactly what this is. Now, before we move on, of course, we need to address the rides the rides that are going missing. At this time, it's not 100% known what is gonna to happen to them. Looking at plans in a minute, which you'll see as well for Project Play, I would think that's where the Jungle Bus will probably end up. As for Monkey Swinger and indeed Tuk Tuk Termal, it's really undecided what will happen with those, but at the moment it does look more towards removal rather than uh, relocation, especially given the size of Tuk Tuk Termal. I think the swings would be nice to keep, so it'd be interesting to see whether they can move them somewhere. In terms of Temple of Mayhem, it's already shut for this year. I don't think we're gonna see it return in 2025. The next exciting news is Project Play, and it evolves around Mexicana, which is less of a surprise for everyone. Let's be honest, it's less of a surprise for everyone. It's another area that needs developed. Uh, the area doesn't look great, it's right in the middle of the park. You know, some days this season there's nothing open there at all. So they are looking at a redevelopment and creating a new land. Now, it's going to be aimed at younger children and they've imaged here very much CBeebies land as we scroll down from the inevitable removal of Scorpion Express. Sadly, that has not come to fruition. You can see the development area and it's quite weird that the development area doesn't include rattlesnake. So how rattlesnake fits into the park at the moment really is unknown. We're seeing some people saying it's going to be removed. We see some people saying it's going to be sort of re-themed into Forbidden Kingdom. If I had to put a bet on it, I think a re-theme into Forbidden Kingdom would be better than removal because they're not really going to get anything else there. But it's not included in these plans. So removing it would seem a bit silly because they could have removed it and potentially had a much bigger area. Now we talked about areas that are going to change in terms of animal relocations. You can see here the Children's Zoo is part of this development, not just Scorpion Express. So as you look across Scorpion Express, we'll be leaving the park. Not likely to reopen now. You could pretty much say will not be reopening now. The ill-fated Cantina will also be included in that along then right the way through the buildings that are currently there which are potentially going to be removed and of course over to the children's zoo for complete redevelopment for a family themed area. And when we look at that we look at my first roller coaster as you can see they've pictured Octonauts, some flat rides, we would expect Jungle Bus to be heading in there, you know themed playscape, meet and greet, it's not sure whether or not this will be a um, IP based area 
but given themed retail and things, potentially we might see an expansion of something that the parks have already got. They then look at some ongoing projects, which include the lodges which we showed you earlier. They're still planned to go at the top end of the safari by the hotels, and of course, the water park. Now the water park, I still don't think is gonna happen. I don't know why, I just don't think it's gonna happen. Now, as we said, with current projects, that's sort of ongoing and including the car parks, which has actually already started. Um, Timescales haven't been confirmed on those, but the two main projects, the Refresh and Renew and Project Play, we will see planning permission for this year. Now, as a betting man, this is how I would see it. I would see Temple of Mayhem not reopening in 2025. I certainly see Scorpion Express not reopening in 2025. I also see Zufari not opening in 2025, and I would see some works going on around there. I would expect the children's zoo to be moved into Wanyama Village, potentially over this closed season, to really free up that space so they can start work on it. Scorpion Express will be dismantled and removed, I would imagine, over the next six months. And that will be the first area we see. I expect Project Play to open at the park in 2026. Now, looking at Wild Asia, it's a much bigger project. However, I would expect that to follow suit and perhaps even overlap slightly. So we may see the closure of Wild Asia at the end of 2025 which might be also the reason why we've not got a Bane show next year for Halloween, because I already know it's not going to be there. Expecting then for the new land to open after a year or so closure in 2027. Now then, what do we expect to happen with the other rides? I, not 100% sure, to be honest. I could see them getting rid of the Dodgems. Um, I could see them potentially getting rid of the Monkey Swing and giving its age. I don't believe it was new when the park got it either. But there are options to relocate it. There is definitely land around which they relocate it in. If this area shut in September 2025, it would be built through for 2026 and then open in 2027. So effectively, we would be looking at nothing new for 2025. And then we would be looking at 2026 for Project Play. And then we'd be looking at 2027 for the new area. That's my guess on the timelines and indeed the planning permission being submitted. No point in submitting it now and then not really doing anything for a few years. So that would be my guess. That gives them time to relocate rides, that gives them time to build animal enclosures, and that gives them time to move things across. So if they're gonna do a extensive redevelopment of the Sufari area, whether that means Sufari stays and they make some changes to it, whether that means Sufari is ripped out and they actually do change that area for animals, that will, I believe, happen next year. That's my guess on the timelines. I'm not 100% sure, it's not guaranteed, but that's what makes sense. So we are now looking out for planning permission. We see a coaster, we see a new indoor ride. We see a theme, did you pick up on it? Let us know in the comments below what you think of these plans because I didn't think Wild Asia needed a uplift before some of the other areas, but it's good to see Mexicana getting one and the end of Mexicana. Do you think Rattlesnake will stay? Do you think the other rides will stay? But we have some answers. For me, 2025, no Scorpion Express, no Sufari, no Temple of Mayhem.